Good morning from a very grim Peterborough. Uh, just a bit of a, a shout out for Lou Davy, who sent a really in-depth email. Um, Kat will explain um, what that email was about and then the current test that we've done over to Kat. Hi, well, uh, yeah, thanks to Lou for all the information that he sent. Um, and basically what we were talking about was the fish flashing and the chlorine in the water. And he, he's not too far from us, although he's in a different water catchment area, and but pointed out that a lot of our local water is chloraminated. So went on Anglian Water website, um, and it's worth doing if you're not sure, uh, to you know, look at your local water company website. Uh, our water is slightly harder than last time I checked, a couple of years ago, um, but yes, ours is also chloraminated. So we had to have to test for total chlorine, which is using the DPD4 tablets, uh, rather than the strips that we were using. So we've done that this morning, they arrived, and this is the results of the test. So if you can see, this is the tap water, this little T underneath, and you can see that there is chlorine in it. I mean, it's probably gonna be 0 0.8 of whatever units these use, something around there. So looking at the pond water taken from the pond, uh, so this has obviously been through the dechlorinator, it is very slightly tinged pink, so the dechlorinators are working to an extent, um, but probably 0.2, I'm not sure what units these are. Um, so it is working, but there is still a tiny bit of chlorine in our water. So we need to discuss what we're gonna be doing about that. Um, and that's the next job. Thanks for that cat. For that I'll make you a cup of tea. So, after watching Andy Daly's video using sodium thiosulfate, big blues, um, now we've done a check using DPD4. It's time for us to get our thinking heads on and uh, see how we can reduce the chlorine even further. So, very, very, very short video. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll lengthen it just a little bit because you might like this. Uh, follow me into the greenhouse. So those that have been keeping up today, we had to pull the entire bottom of the shower out in order to get the gravity blade in. And when we pulled it out, we had to slide it over towards this plant pot. Clearly the plant pot wouldn't have been there. And then when the gravity blade was ready to be fitted, we slid it back. Now during that time, I noticed a damp patch down in this corner and hopefully it's not there anymore but at the time I'm thinking now oh, great I've ripped the bottom of the shower somehow this is the one that I stuck the base on top now the base is actually stuck on the top of the inside rather than the bottom of the outside so I'm thinking, well, if I've rubbed it across the floor, have I gone over a piece of gravel and punctured it? I don't know. So straight away I'm thinking, right, I'm going to have to try and do a better job and a practice job on my other shower tier, which is in my shed. Over the next few days, we have had torrential thunderstorms and we've had an amount of water coming through the concrete base. So it's gone underneath the last course of brick, pushing itself through and going under the shower. I'll just show you the outside so you know. So yeah, it's running down the earth, hitting the, the final course of bricks and pushing itself on top of the concrete base. So there I was thinking, no, oh, I've got to reseal that, I've got to do this. Right, let's get some money spent. I've uh, ordered some polypropylene. Um, I've been watching uh, Righty videos. So morning, morning Righty, hope you're well, or Terry, shall we say. Uh, so I ended up buying myself a, a load of welding kit. 
that arrived this morning um, some some welding rods uh, I'm just waiting for the polypropylene so all this has now arrived and I might not need it but being a bit of an engineer I quite fancy the idea of uh, having a play with this stuff and seeing if I can make things and you know what I'm like I can't sit on my hands for too long I've got to make things so I'm going to do a bit of polypropylene welding at some time in the future and we'll see how it goes but in the meantime I did promise Kat a cup of tea so I better get that sorted out Clearly not hungry, are they? Well, they've just been up. I put I put a slug in, and um, they completely missed the slug, but they were all begging. What is on the apple? Uh, soil. Oh. What bugs? I'm hoping not. I'm going to wash it. Right now. Well, anyway, well, cat feeds mealworm. Someone thought we'd uh, give that a try. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Thanks for watching, we need uh, six more subscribers and we've hit that 1,000. Tell your friends, tell your neighbours, six more, 1,000 and then we'll get a prize organised. Keep it real. Take care. Boom.